Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov is in South Africa for a working visit. He met with his South African counterpart Naledi Pandor in Pretoria and the duo discussed bilateral ties. Lavrov said Russia favors South Africa's representation in the G20 and that the two nations will hold a summit in St. Petersburg this year. Lavrov and Pandor last met on the sidelines of the 77th session of the UN General Assembly. During his second visit to the continent since the beginning of the war with Ukraine, the Russian foreign minister blamed the war-torn neighbor Ukraine for the failed talks between the two sides. The Ukrainian side got signals from Washington, London, Brussels, I don't know from where, according to which it was too early for the Ukrainians to start talking with Russia. They said that if Russian had agreed to have talks, it means that it meant that they were weak. He further said Russia was ready for a diplomatic solution, but the Ukrainian president and his Western allies stalled the talks. He accused the Ukrainian and the U.S. president of spreading Russophobia. There are no such rules. That's just what Washington decides that is supported by London and Brussels. It's a problem. It's a flagrant violation of the main principles of the UN Charter on the sovereign equality of all states. And we don't want to provoke any scandals or confrontation. We just want every country to be able to have their own rights in the international system as provided by the UN Charter. The meet comes weeks before Russia, South Africa and China's joint naval drills will be held in the Indian Ocean along the coast of South Africa. In February, these drills depict growing influence of China and Russia on Africa's most developed nation and its refusal to side with the West. While speaking about the drill, Lavrov said the naval exercise does not break any rule and it will be completely transparent in nature. He further accused the Western countries of portraying Russia as the main threat and China as a long-term threat. He accused the West of trying to isolate Russia and China. For more on this story, we're now joined by our correspondent, Calden Ongmu from Johannesburg. Calden, uh, bring us the latest on this bilateral meeting between the two leaders. What have been the key takeaways? Yes, a very important bilateral talks between a uh, very controversial Russia and South Africa did take place today. Uh, earlier, there was an uh, introductory, then after that, they had private meeting, and thereafter, there was a media briefing. Um, in that, they answered a lot of questions, and they also gave information that, uh, you know, South Africans really wanted to hear. Um, we knew very well the bilateral, uh, in, the, in the bilateral talks, the main on the agenda would be the uh, Russia-Ukraine war and what's happening with that. And if you remember, the stance that South Africa has taken is, always been neutral. South Africa has always maintained a neutral stance, stating that this uh, war between Russia and Ukraine must end, but it must be done so, uh, uh, you know, holding peace talks, unlike other Western countries that have posed uh, several sanctions on Russia and have even asked South Africa to take a stance on uh, uh, Russia. But South Africa has not, uh, you know, moved away from the previous stance of saying, no, we are here, we want this uh, war to end, but it should be done peacefully. And today the matter was just that. Well, Lavrov uh, spoke about this, saying that, you know, we respect South Africa's decision and we respect what they say, that this talk should be held, a peaceful resolution should be held, and this war must come to an end. And we totally agree with that, which was a strong statement coming uh, from uh, Russia itself. Uh, them stating that, you know, blaming the Western countries, in fact, saying last year when Ukraine and Russia were in talks and they had decided that they would go ahead with the negotiations, but it was the West that uh, somewhat, you know, told Ukraine not to do that, not to back out from where its uh, initially stance, uh, stance was made. So uh, uh, Russian uh, 
uh, foreign minister did uh, confirm on that, saying, no, we are all for that peaceful negotiations, but the Western country is having a very heavy, big influence on Ukraine. Also, Naledi Pando, international relations minister, who is hosting Russia's foreign minister, stating that definitely we are for that. We want Russia to end this through peaceful dialogue. And also Russia going in to talk about how they want to bolster not just trade relationship with Africa, but also in terms of other relationships that they want to, uh, they want to uh, repair. They've said that Russia and uh, South Africa dates back to 1960s, the relation. They have a very strong ideological and historical ties between this country. And Naledi Pando herself mentioned that this bilater bilateral talks will uh, strengthen the already strong relationship that these two countries share. In fact, um, Naledi Pando going on to say Russia is a very strong ally of South mm. Africa. And these talks, time and again, should be held because this is very important for both the countries. Right. Very important for both the countries indeed. Thanks very much, Calton, for getting us all those details.